Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Life with Patty. And it has been a few weeks since we've done a grocery haul together. So I thought we would do one today. I went to Save More. It's actually spelled Save More. Save More. Sometimes I say I'm going to Save More. Oh, everybody says Save More. Anyways, uh, I spent $136.83. It's just crazy how expensive things are real realistically. A lot of this stuff I probably didn't have to get, but I did. So, uh, for one, right off the get-go, I bought the Shasta California Dream Z Zero Soda. So, it's kind of like an orange creamsicle. I've never had it before, so I might actually do a new-to-me uh, video for Kimmy's Kitchen on Thursday with this and try it. But, um, so this is realistically something I really didn't need, but I did get it. And then I did get our gallon of milk, and that is something that we always need. Milk, this is not like, um, this is just an off-brand McCall's. It's three forty-eight a gallon. I don't think of that as being too bad. I usually get six bananas or so but they only had ripe bananas and they ripen so quick. So I only got four bananas this time and I'll just go back, well, four days and then I'll go back and get some next week. Um, I was running low on my air freshener. So this one is Hawaiian Breeze and this one is Clean Linen. I like both those scents. Um, my husband likes to have the, a granola bar every once in a while, so I got him his granola bars. They're four forty-five for six of them. That's, I remember when they used to be like a dollar seventy-nine. Uh, I did get a bag of avocados. These are a little bit better than last week's. Last week's were kind of ripe, but my husband likes to have these. I make them like a protein box for lunch, so he gets an avocado and like some meat and cheese, maybe some fruit. Um, so I got the avocados, that was three forty-eight for that bag of avocados. And then just for everyday use, uh, some margarine for when I do some baking. We're gonna have pork chops for dinner tonight. The pork chops were $4.29, so that's not bad. And then I got some turkey lunch meat. That's, I roll up like three slices and put that in my husband's um, protein boxes. These I like to just have on hand just in case I don't know what to make with something and I don't feel like peeling potatoes. I just have these on hand and they're actually quite good. The roasted garlic mashed potatoes. And I, I like them and they're like $1.89 a bag. Remember when they used to be like 89 cents? Um, we always need Ziploc bags and I always keep an extra one on hand. So this has 15 storage bags, a gallon of storage bags. And then some carrots that goes in his protein box as well. And he likes to dip them in hummus. And then, um, I got these a couple times now. It's the cottage cheese and it has the fruit on the top. So this is blueberry on the top and this one is strawberry. They had pineapple, but my husband had told me he didn't like the pineapple one. I hope I'm right, it was the pineapple he didn't like. Um, these are a little pricey. They're a dollar like 89 a piece. So it'd probably be cheaper just to get some fruit and, um, but you're paying for the convenience is what you're paying for. And then here is our, um, honey and oat and nut bread. And this was $3.88 a, ga uh, a loaf. That's about as cheap as you can get now. And then I got my four pounds of sugar for my hummingbirds. I filled both their feeders this morning and I got, I got up late compared to my normal routine during the week. And so I didn't get their food out to them till like 10 o'clock and one of them is already drained. The other one's half empty. They go through it fast. So we're gonna have some um, asparagus with our pork chops tonight. They was $1.98 a pound. 
and then an 18 pack of eggs. 18 pack of eggs is 3.48 here. So if you guys are listening to the prices, let me know if they're comparable to yours, higher or lower, depending uh, depending on where you're living. This is my biggest vice that I try to get over, but it's hard to do so. I do like these dipped in some sour cream. And these are $5.99 a bag now. Is that not ridiculous or what? Um, I got some pretzels. So if you get the small, tiny pretzels, they're like $6 a bag. And these were the bigger pretzels and they're only $2.88 a bag. It doesn't matter to me. A pretzel is a pretzel is a pretzel, so. I just got those. And then my grandson, this is his favorite chips, Pringles. So I got these for when he comes over. I have to watch him though. I have to like get so much out and that's it. Cause he'll eat the whole thing if you let him. And he's just a little tiny guy, but that's his favorite, favorite snack. Um, and then I got these uh, Nature Valley biscuits with the almond butter. I bought these a long time ago and I haven't bought them for a long time. This one you get 10 bars and it was $6.88, I believe, for six bars. Um, and I like to take one and have it in the morning for breakfast. At work, when I first wake up in the morning, I'm not in the mood to eat. Um, my husband eats breakfast before I go, but I don't like to eat breakfast first thing in the morning. On my day's off, I'll get up, have my coffee, and then maybe two hours later I'll eat. So I take one of these to work and I make coffee at work and I'll dip it in my coffee. So I got the... Um, these are the jello bowls um so this one is a pineapple jello and this one is mandarin oranges and jello my husband likes to have those with uh, his lunch and then this is the mixed fruit and then this one is applesauce so he doesn't he likes all these with his with his lunch so stocked up on that <clears throat> And then this was a complete impulse buy. They were four, eight, 8 a piece. So it's the macadamia nut flavored or scented conditioner and shampoo. And they smell really good. This is an off brand. I've never heard of this, it's probably a Mexican brand, but um, I thought I would try it. Just spoil myself a little bit once in a while, you know? You always have to do that, right? So, <clears throat> I could have saved $8 if I didn't get that, but I did. <clears throat> and you saw that I bought soda, and I'm trying to cut back on soda, but that is a zero soda. Although I researched it online, and they say diet soda is just as bad for you as regular soda, and your body reacts to it as if it's real sugar. So if you are a diabetic or pre-diabetic, having the fake sugar is not any better than the regular sugar. So I don't know. But anyways, I also got this Crystal Light Peach Iced Tea. These are the packets and I mix it with water in a pitcher. And I love this, I love this, love this, love this. So there's um, six packets in here and I have a big pitcher. So I mix two packets to the pitcher and it lasts me all week. Actually, I'm going on week two with it. Um, they had these on promotion. And so I impulse buy on these uh, snacks for my grandson, me, my husband, we all like crackers once in a while. And then the grooves, those are really good. And then I should try to remember to take these to work as a snack instead of buying the little portion stuff in the snack department, because super expensive that way. Um, a pound of butter, just every day that you need your butter. And two cereals this time, a honey bunches of oats, the honey roasted, and then honey nut Cheerios. So those are the two cereals for this week. And then lastly, I got myself the French breads. I put these in the air fryer. So this is the three meat one. They're like a French bread. And then this one is the pepperoni one. Um, so I come home for lunch, but it takes me 10 minutes to get here and 10 minutes to get back. And I don't like those in the microwave. They're horrible in the microwave. But if you have an air fryer, they are super good in the air fryer. So generally I'll make them in the air fryer. It takes about eight minutes 
does take a couple minutes to heat up. So sometimes I'm eating it as I'm going back to work, but um, I like them for lunch, so. All right, that's it. That was all my haul for that amount of money. Crazy, 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 but it is what it is. So um, I hope that you guys all have a great weekend or that you had a great weekend. It's back to work we go tomorrow. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I shall talk to you later. Bye-bye.